Hey everyone, um, it is 5.45 in the morning. Here I am, wide awake. I am drinking my iced coffee. I'm awake, I'm here, and I'm queer. Um, <clears throat> it's August 23rd, 2018. Um, and yeah, so I wanted to make a video about pronouns again and about misgendering. I made a video about this probably at least two years ago when I was on testosterone and I was um, like physically and medically transitioning from female to male in the sense that I was taking testosterone. Um, at this point I've been off of T for I want to say a year and th three or four months. Um, so it's been like quite a while and now I identify as gender fluid, meaning I identify as both male and female and neither all at the same time. Um, and sometimes both. Um, and you might think that someone that's gender fluid might not get misgendered because their gender is so fluid. However, that's not the case with me. Um... I go exclusively by he, him pronouns. I do not identify with they. I don't identify with she. None of that stuff. I solely identify with he, him, and his. Which I've actually been doing a lot of thinking about and wondering. Not what that's about because that sounds negative to like my own personal experience. But just that kind of concept is really foreign to me in the sense that like what a specific way to identify but the thing is is that there's no desire at all to change or to even explore being called she or or they them there there's no interest because I know that those don't fit me but I just wanted to talk about what it feels like being misgendered when I'm presented in a completely feminine way and then when I'm presented in a more androgynous way, which I interchangeably use the word androgynous for masculine because I don't consider myself to look masculine. I consider the days where like I'm not wearing makeup or I'm wearing a snapback or you know flannel shirt on um, the ways that are traditionally male or in my case would make me look butch, I consider those just androgynous days because sometimes you really are just kind of like, what is he? Um, kind of just like a gender fuck idea. Um, so basically, it hurts. <laughs> that's, that's the long and short of it, is it does hurt to be misgendered. Now, with that being said, I'm not silly and I am aware that when I am wearing a wig and a dress and lipstick and eyeliner and I am just dressed to the nines that people are not going to automatically call me he him. I totally get that. And honestly, in almost all situations, I would not ask for people to call me he him if I was dressed in that way. Unless I was in, like, an exclusively queer, 100% safe environment. I will just stand there and get misgendered. Now, if I'm in a queer environment, like, especially when it comes to, like, my theater peeps, then I might speak up. But even then, it's really difficult for me when I'm presented in that feminine way. It just feels uncomfortable to have to, like, assert myself, and that's something that I've always struggled with even when I was on testosterone because like I looked a little different and my voice was a lot lower than it is now somehow over the past like year and a half or whatever my voice has increasingly gotten higher um because if you look at my old videos like my voice was like hey like my name is Rylan like I don't know what happened because that's 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 not happening anymore um but yeah, it hurts to be called the wrong pronouns. I'm lucky that the people that I actually surround myself with and the people that I hang out with and such 
call me by my right pronouns that they refer to me as he, him, and his. And I'm very grateful for that. But as far as like the outside world, it doesn't feel so great. And being in that helpless position and not being able to stick up for myself and being able to assert my pronouns and be safe is a really frustrating thing because the one time that I tried to do that, that I tried to disclose my transgender identity, I ended up being sexually assaulted. So I have pretty traumatic memories with disclosing my trans status to people and I unfortunately learned in a completely life-altering and life-fucking over way that you can't trust everybody no matter how safe an environment feels. So it's hurtful and I hate that I can't say anything and the only reprieve is that I do have those people in my life that respect me. Even when I'm dressed in an androgynous way, I still get misgendered. Um, you know, it's weird because there's this, it's really weird. There's this deli up the road. There's two delis on my street. There's one always up the road that they always gender me as male. And I'm always like, wait, what? And then like a couple weeks ago, I was gendered as male. Like just like full body type description. Like I don't shave my armpits. I don't shave my legs. I don't have super hairy legs, but they're like, they're visible now. Um, I can grow a mustache, like barely. It's mostly just like kind of like pre-adolescent, like peach fuzz. I can grow sideburns and I have this awkward like patch right here and then I can get like chin stubble. That's like the extent of my facial and body hair. Um, so even when I'm presented in an androgynous way, I'm still perceived as a female, I'll bet just a really butch one. So it's a really confusing concept and it's, yeah, it's hurtful to be seen as someone that you're not. For my cisgender friends that are watching this, um, luckily that's something that you won't have to struggle with and deal with, which I'm grateful for you because as I've said in a thousand videos and I will say until the day that I die, I would never wish being trans on anyone. I'm proud of being trans. I'm proud of who I am, but I would never wish the complications of questioning your gender identity and then navigating the world through a transgender life and perspective, I wouldn't wish that upon anybody because it's a life fraught with confusion and discrimination and hatred and violence and it's really difficult. Um, so I just kind of wanted to give like an update of what it feels like being misgendered as a gender fluid human being um, because the lines definitely get blurred when one day you're dressed you know, in a wig and you look like a complete cis female. Um, and then other days you kind of just look like this minus, you know, my horrific hair. Uh, so I hope this uh, video was informative to somebody. Um, and have an amazing day, you guys. Um, like I said, the day is just beginning. I keep waking up at 6.30 in the morning. Today it's 5 in the morning. Uh, cause I went to bed at like literally like an 8.30. So, awesome. <laughs>